Yeah, bang bang Ray Hill, uh, please press the like button and subscribe. I've got two 002 BMW, blue, blue one coupe, absolutely stunning car. This is this is like in the 70s, 70s, 80s, this is going to the 80s, yeah? I'm in Lewisham. Um, I'm not living in Lewisham, but I'm coming from the South Circular where I've been to see Jimmy Tibbet, yeah, about fighting. I'm still there, but still fighting, but I'm not living in Lewisham, yeah? I'm back around Acton because I want to do my own promotions in Acton Town Hall. So I've got this little car. I've smashed it up. I'm driving now towards Putney over Putney Bridge. I'm not going for the city area because it's all smashed up. I'm driving towards Putney over Putney Bridge, going that way to my mum's. Get to my mum's. I'm with my pal. Uh, drop him off. See you tomorrow. Goes to see him the next day, but I'll get a bus. So I'm saying to him, look, do you know anybody who can do my BMW? You know, like any good mechanics and this, that and the other, and body, and body people. He went, yeah, he said, I know one. Just down Boston Manor Road, past the car, first left, and there's a trading estate there, yeah? I said, will he do it? He went, yeah, he's really good, right? he's a big guy, about, I don't know, 28, 30, he's done massive, yeah? He's quite a lump, right? he's, he's, you know, six foot two, six foot three, massive, yeah? I went, yeah, all right, sweet. I said, I'm not bothered about your size. I'm, just, I'm doing a license fighting. You know, I'm in act, I want to get, do my own thing in Acton Town Hall. So I'm not, anyway, I goes down to see him. I drive the, BM, the little BMW down there and go in there and park it outside, goes in there. There he is, big fat lump, uh, talking to him for a minute. I said, can I drive the car in? He said, yeah, drive in. Drives it in, parks it up, he comes outside. He went, poor. He said, I said, look, can you do it? He went, yeah, I said, how long before you can do it? He said, give me, what, a week? I said, can't you do it before that? I see, he said, I said, you know, he went, look, yeah, I can, let's come back in and go, he said, come back and wait in the office, have a chat. So as I'm walking in the office, to the office, I notice this young girl, black girl, it definitely ain't his daughter, right? It's a black girl, she can't be no older than, I don't know, what, 14, 13, I don't know, she looks maybe 16 or worse, I don't know, anyway. So she's in there, little girl, uh, school girl, definitely, yeah. And she's in there and she's sitting down. He's told her to get up while well, we sit down and have a chat. So as she gets up, he's touching her little bum. And I thought, well, hold up. I don't like this, mate. I don't like this at all. I don't feel comfortable. Uh, that's that's put, made me sweat down my back, yeah. Um, I started to, uh, no, I just started to feel a bit weird. You know, and there was he standing there, big gold chain around his neck, massive thick links in his chain, all chains in his wrist, big rings. And um, you know, he's saying, I'll tell you what I do. We said, look, I'll do it in a cup, what, couple of three days for you. I work my I work hard on it, get it all put down nicely, sprayed up and everything, and it costs you X amount. And I went, Okay, I'm not on crack, I'm not nothing, I'm just training. I'm down, you know, acting town all gonna do my own promotions. But I ain't got the car, so I, I said, is it okay if I leave it here? Yes, it is. So, all of a sudden, I, we, walk, we walk out, we walk out the, the, the office into the, where the cars, the cars, he's doing all his cars. It's just him and another guy, yeah? And this other guy, you know, just normal guy, you know, and I walked out, um, he walks back in and he gets this little packet of, now I know it was Coke, yeah? It gives it, goes in there and gives it to this young girl. She can't be no older than 14, 15. School girl, definitely, mate. And I just, I don't know. And I walked out, left the BM there, we're gonna get a bus now to Boston Manor Station, get on there, go to my mum's and I'll do what I've got to do, then go to Acting Town Hall, work out my boxing thing. Walk up the top of the road uh, and I don't feel comfortable, mate. I just don't feel comfortable. And I said, no, listen. I said, just go have a cup of tea. There's a little cafe, you know, up the road. So I sat in the cafe, um, I'm having something to eat. Uh, uh, I just said, listen, mate. I said, we'll I'll go back there. I've got to go back there, mate. I've got to take this car back. Uh, I, I don't want this guy to do my car. I just don't feel comfortable with this big fat geezer. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I might even give him a clump, you know, and nick his chain, you know, I'm not. I'm not on crack, I'm not on coke, I'm not on anything like that, yeah? But 
I'm just pissed off at the way he is, the way he, the way he acts. And this young kid, when he touched her ass, I didn't feel comfortable at all. You know? So I'm going back there, and he's in the office. Me and my pal walks into the office, and this young girl, and she's got her top off, yeah, and she throws this thing over her top, you know, to cover herself up. I see her breasts and all that. I mean, that, that, that sparked it off, mate. I can't believe it, you know what I mean? He's got on coke, she's got no top on, he's mucking about of her, a big fat guy. It's too much for me, you know. Um, he's too late. He's, What's your game? As he said that, mate, I swear, I hit him. This little girl was screaming, running out of the office with a top uh, thing and a breast is flying around and this, that and the other. And my mate's outside and I smashed his geezer, man. I hit him so hard, I swear. And he hit on his legs and I kept smashing him and smashing him and smashing on his knees, sorry. He was smashing him. You know, I couldn't help it, mate. He was just sparked me off. It's just one of the things. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. That kid brought shivers down my back, you know, and, and, and I just went all weird. And on top of that, this fat geezer picked his chain off his head, massive chain. Because I said I'm taking that chain. He got it and he threw his chain. He threw it out and it went under the, it went under the car, yeah? So when I've done him in, he ain't going to get up, mate. He's out. He's out like a lot, but he's a bit. I mean, I'll tell you what, mate. I hit him so hard. I hurt my elbow. My elbow really hurt when I hit him. I got out and picked the chain up and got to my BMW, got in it and drove down the road. But as we were driving down the road, this young kid is running down the road, yeah? And she's, she's got a top on and she's running down the road, yeah? With a little, with a little bag. And I said, get in the car. And she went, no, please. I said, get in the car. She got in the car. Oh, my mate got out. She got in the back. I said, where do you live? She said, no, please. I said, where do you live? She said, I live in, by, by Hamill Clock Tower. So I went to the clock tower. I said, where do you live, love? And she lived over the back, over the back way. There's some flats there, big blocks of flats. Not big blocks, three, two, three story flats. I uh, took her over there. And I said, listen, you ever let me see you go around with these people again, I'm going to come in and tell your mum and dad about you. And I said, you're very lucky, right? This guy, this guy is what you call a paedophile, yeah? He's a paedophile. And you're lucky that this guy doesn't go too far with you, right? And then, and then something else happens, yeah? You don't go down and see him again. Do you understand me? If I find you around these areas again and you're down these, doing that, I'm taking you to the police station. I wouldn't have done that. And I wouldn't have been told of mum and dad. But seeing what I see, it shook me up, yeah? And she just run off crying, you know? But, you know, a young kid like that, you never know what she's doing today. Today, obviously, she's a lot older now. She's, I should think she's 45, something like, I don't know, 50. But, um, you know, she might have gone right the other way. And she might have gone on, on the crack, on the pipe, but she when he got on a coat at that age, it's, it's, what else can she do, yeah? She more like went back down to see her, I should imagine. And it disgusted me, really. Took the, I took the chain anyway. A very good friend of mine, uh, she's on Facebook this, uh, now, even now, a light-skinned girl. I'll uh, give her the chain. Uh, she went down to Hatton Garden and got good money for it. I'll give her a little drink and I kept the chain. Kept the money for the chain. And that was it, I got my BMW done, and that was it. And then I went into my unlicensed boxing at Acton Town Hall. Um, I've not heard nothing from the fat guy. There wasn't anybody looking for me as such to find out about the chain and the fat guy that I bashed up. I should, I should imagine that fat guy, mate, uh, you know, I never found out if he was still working now, but I should imagine he got out, come out of that place a bit under, under miles an hour, mate, and moved somewhere else. But some people must know him on my podcast even now. Unless he's dead, big fat geezer, it might to be 30 stone, big chain around his neck, all gold, gold, young, young girls, uh, dished off Boston on the road, past the cafe on the left hand side, there's a little uh, estate there, yeah? That's where his calf place was. People must know him. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please press the like button and subscribe, and good morning. And before I go, uh, yesterday, um, 
the guy that wrote my book come down and we had a session, a two hour session, where he read part of the book to me. He only went, he read 14,000 words, 14,000. Uh, there's 97, maybe even more, by the time he finishes uh, reading it, because we're going to obviously be adding things to it, you know. Um, but I was with my mate Terry, we sat in, in my office, and we listened to it. And Terry, uh, he's not heard parts of it, and he's, he's beginning, he's had a bit, but not, on as the guy's reading it. It's a lot different me talking about it and someone reading it, yeah? Because the guy's reading it's put it down, he's put it in order. And he's talking and Terry is put his hands over his over his ears and over his eyes like, and he can't believe it mate. He's nearly crying man. He's nearly he can't he said, Well I can't believe this mate. This is this it's this unbelievable this part, this beginning of your life. He said, uh, he said, it's crazy. And I was shocked. I felt a bit tearful in my eyes. It was a fantastic read. Uh, the guy who's wrote my book, he's just, he's just, well, he's just unbelievable, yeah? And it's gonna, the book is so good, mate. Anyway, it's going to be, it's going to be the top, mate. It's going to be the top. 95 to 97,000 words, and we only read 14,000, and it's, that just got to me and got to my mate. Anyway, this is Bang Rain Rail. Good morning and have a nice day. Yeah, bye.